what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a quick weave video because my natural hair is getting pretty long and thick um i was trying to think of a better method to do for longer and thicker hair that way your quick weave comes out a lot flatter i did not see this method anywhere i just literally thought of it in my head um you guys don't have to do this method obviously if you don't want to but um it definitely works i feel like my hair is a lot flatter than it would be as if I did the braids. So I definitely like this method. I'll continue to use this method and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. A lot of you guys know if you watched my reveal video that this hair is from my own extension line. And if you did not watch that video, now you know. The line is called 1222 Hair Extensions and I'll put the Instagram page in the description below. Please make sure you go follow. But um, the idea behind the name, so I consider 1222 to be my angel number. So basically, whenever I look at the clock, it's just like always 1222. And it's been that way for like a year and a half. Um, and the night that I came up with the idea to start a hairline, I looked over at the clock and it was 12.22 a.m. 12.22 is also my birthday. And so I Googled angel number 12.22 and it says, it's a powerful sign that you are to step out of your comfort zone and take a new direction and or begin new projects and ventures that you have been prompted to pursue. Angel number 1222 encourages us to release our fears and apprehensions and get on with pursuing our passions and purpose. So I just felt like it was the perfect name because it just all kind of, it just kind of aligned with how I was feeling at the time. I've been feeling like for a while, like I was really struggling to find my passion. And like I said in my previous video, like the idea to start this hairline just kind of came out of nowhere. Like, and it's crazy because it's something that I'm so passionate about. So I don't know, like I'm just excited to reveal the line to you guys and I hope you like the hair. Um, like I said, please go and follow the official Instagram page for 1222 here because I'll literally post all of the details, launch date, um, all the details about the hair on that page. Um, so please go make sure you follow that page so that you do not miss out on the launch because when I tell y'all I've had so many people say that they are so ready for me to launch like you don't want to miss out on the launch sis. It will be launching extremely extremely soon so you definitely want to make sure you go in follow the official Instagram page so that you don't miss out on the launch date and I hope you guys enjoy the video if you have any questions as always please feel free to leave a comment below and I will respond. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and continue watching if you're interested in my new quick weave method. Okay, so the faces I was making were kind of intense, so I had to cut a lot of these clips out, but this is the way that I did the new mold. So basically, you divide your hair into two sections as if you were doing two ponytails, and then you are going to put the bond protectant all over your hair. 
as if you're doing, you know, a gel mode or some other kind of short hair mode. So you can see right here, I'm just placing the bond protectant all over my hair. And then I'm going to put my hair into a ponytail on one side and then into a ponytail on the other side. And then I'm just going to braid the ends all the way down of the ponytail um, and secure them with a rubber band. And then in the end, when you're done, you'll go back and tuck the braids under the cap. I really hope this makes sense, but again, just split your hair into two sections as if you were doing two ponytails, put the bond protectant all over your hair, and then braid your hair down to the ends and secure with a rubber band. Make sure this is completely dry before putting your caps on, um, and you'll see in the end why I prefer to tuck the braids after I'm completely done as opposed to when I first put the cap on. It just, it makes it um, a little bit more flat when you do it that way. So that's just how I prefer to do it. You can definitely do it whatever way you prefer, but I like to do it in the end. So here's the 
here's exactly what I'm talking about. I tuck the braids after I am completely done with gluing the tracks. Um, you should have some space underneath your caps to tuck. So tuck one side and then go and tuck the other side. And it's as simple as that. Um, tucking the braids in the end just, in my opinion, makes it a lot flatter. Thank you. 